Alright you guys, so in this video we're going to talk about what do you need to be a good photographer. And you don't really actually need all the stuff that's laying in front of me, but I'll kind of explain that as we go along here. You can see that this is a digital SLR and it's got a dirty lens there. Um, and so it's got a separate lens and it also comes with a charger and a cable and all that kind of stuff. A lot of the stuff that you're seeing to the left of your screen is optional. And the, the lenses are actually kind of optional too because many of you are actually going to have a point and shoot camera which will have um, the lens built in or you'll have a cell phone camera or something else. But if you have a SLR, this is what you'll have. Um, and you can see here I'm putting the charger in the bag. So it's really important if you have a camera, I would say it's a good idea to find some kind of storage place for it. So maybe you carry it in another bag, but you have somewhere at home where you put all of your photography stuff together in one place that closes. You want to make sure it keeps the dust out and things like that. So you can see here along those lines, this lens, which is sort of separate from the other lens, so it's a lens that I switch out with the other one, it has a, it's even its own little bag that I can close like that. It's a little drawstring bag that comes with the lens. But sometimes your lens might not come with a bag, so you can put it, wrap it in a t-shirt, or you can put it, you can make your own bag out of a t-shirt or something like that. It's always a good idea to do that. Um, over here you can see I'm now wrapping up the strap around the camera and I switched around the sunshade and so it would fit into the bag a little better. I put it in there. So you want to make sure when you store the camera that you make sure the strap is not sitting on top of your LCD screen because it'll scratch it up. And you can see there I just pulled out two little black circles and those are those are one's a body cap and one's a lens cap for the back side of your lens. So there you can see the body cap going on and that protects um, dust and things like that or it protects the inside of the camera from dust and things like that and the same for the lens cap on the other end of the lens. Now uh, I take I t put those on just when the lens and the camera are separate from each other. So just when I have, when I have them um, traveling or something like that. Uh, for those of you with point and shoots or with uh, any other kind of camera that doesn't have separating lenses, don't worry about it. This stuff isn't important for you. But just in case you ever get there, you might want to keep note of that. So I carry those with me. I don't necessarily use them that often, but if I do, there they are. Um, anytime you want to store, take your lens off your camera for more than five minutes, you want to make sure you put something on top of it to protect it from dust. I've got this little, um, this little sort of bag, um, sort of, what would you call that? I guess it's sort of like a pouch. And I'm putting some wipes in there. You can see there's some pre-lubricated wipes or some like sort of pre-wet wipes. And then there's some um, optical glass cleaner, which is that blue sort of bat little square you saw go in there. And there you saw a brush and some cleaning fluid. Now these things are all really important if your camera gets dirty. Right there you just saw a second brush, which is sort of the body brush. If you've seen the cleaning sections of this um, lesson, you'll see that um, what the purpose for that is. Now I've got these two different um, towels here. Um, well, I guess they're cleaning rags. Uh, the one is uh, the one on my that I'm holding right there at this very moment is actually a dirty one that I it's an old old one that I've used. It used to be a lens cleaning cloth that now I use for cleaning the bodies of the camera. Not the, it never touches optical glass anymore, but it's just for the body. And you can see I'm having trouble <laughs> fitting it inside my little tiny pouch there. All right, so now I think we'll be able to get that closed. Now that other one sitting in the front there is actually for cleaning lenses, um, and I don't. Uh, so I don't try not to. I try to keep those two things separate. Um, because if there's anything inside of that s inside of that cleaning cloth, it can scratch your lens. Now you can see I'm pulling open here a USB reader, which everybody's going to probably need some of some kind. This camera takes SD cards, but in the future or in the past, there have been lots of different um, types of cards. So uh, you might not have an SD card in particular, but there's usually going to be some way that you get the get the photos onto the computer. And this camera uses an SD card reader, so. You have those two things, and then you have that lens cleaning cloth, which is important. I carry it with me because in case it rains or something like that, I like to have a lens cleaning cloth so I can just wipe off the lens really quick and, and hop along and take more photos. You can see right there I have a little tiny LED flashlight, and this is a total extra fancy accessory that nobody really needs. But I use it a lot when I'm shooting like night photos and things like that, which for which you need a little tripod. Um, you can get a much, much bigger tripod, but you can start with this little, you know, like $2 tripod that I bought like at um, 
um, a little, little camera shop the other day. So there you go. You've got pretty much everything you need to do. Everything from really basic fun photography to serious night photography. Everything you need in case you hit some bad weather or your camera gets a little dusty or dirty. And it all fits inside of one really nice looking little bag that I picked up at an old camera shop. So um, you can you don't need to have all that stuff, but uh, it's it's going to help you in your journey. So don't feel like you have to go out and spend all the money right away, but maybe this is your kind of dream kit of someday. So, All right, so that's the end of this lesson. Uh, we're going to be moving on to some of the more technical aspects of shooting and get into some um, techniques and things like that that will help you uh, become a better photographer.